Hey everybody, Scott Walters. Buckle up, strap in. I got a hard hitting, pull no punches, no sugar cutting, and the rainbows, and the sunshine. I'm just gonna give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage today. Buckle up, strap in, hold on to your hats and your glasses as we blow the lid off the U.S. economy and the U.S. housing market. Why you ask? Well, of course I'm gonna tell you. They're tied together. Lose one and you will lose the other today. Today we're gonna jump over and we're gonna take a look at some real estate to see what the health and the fitness is of American cities and the housing market. Why? Why should we do that? Well, of course, I'm going to tell you. If, you know what? Before I do that, if you're new, please subscribe. Subscribe yesterday. There's never been a more important time in history to get centered and surrounded with like-minded people. Iron will sharpen iron. We're going to sharpen some iron today, my friends. You see, the thing is, friends, local cities and economies are starting to fail. I think I read a report recently, 25% let me repeat, 25% of all malls in America are shutting down. They're, if they're not already, they're going to be. We're evaporating local economies all over the place. Real estate's a lagging indicator because as much as the iBuyer <laughs> real estate companies wanted to make it as easy as pushing a button, it's not. We're dealing with land and contracts and a lot of paperwork. A lot of data to collect before you start seeing any registered uh, you know, data reports on what's going on. So it's just a lagging indicator. By the time, <laughs> by the time you understand what's going on, it's too late. And that's what happened to this city. This city's got a systemic problem uh, that's much deeper than their real estate. But unfortunately, it took a bite of the real estate. That's why we always talk about how the economy and real estate are tied together. You lose one, my friends you will lose the other. It's a, it's just the realities of the waters we're swimming in. And let, let, us, let me just tell you, it was the perfect storm ushered in from the crisis. We overstimulated the biggest asset class in the world, the U.S. housing market. That's why we had more foreign investor involvement in this bubble than any previous bubble. It just became a casino climate. And we see what's happening to our banking system as a result. They drank the Kool-Aid. They weren't forward thinking. They weren't critical thinking. They operated out of greed. That's why here we always run with the quote from the great Warren Buffett, owner of Berkshire Hathaway, be greedy when others are fearful, fearful when others are greedy. Very simple. So when greed swept these markets, some of us said we're going to be fearful right about now. But guess what's sweeping these markets now? Fear. Fear. So that's where I want to recondition because only a select few, I would say maybe 5% of all investors out there will go buy this dip because they're going to get swept up in reverse FOMO. Herd mentality will rear its ugly head once again. So congratulations if you're with this channel because I'm going to recondition us to go test properties, not overpay and get into bidding wars. No, that was never the case with me. You're going to go test properties. We're, we might even hurt a few feelings along the way because a lot of people are going to have euphoric recall when it comes to their property and come on the property overpriced and stuck on the market sucking air showing kiss of death and scott walters is going to march through with their agents and test you with an offer and see if you want to play ball if you're ready to practice a little acceptance yet that your property is long but in a bubble era anymore in fact it's now in a crashing environment don't believe me let's jump over to today's feature property then we're gonna meet back here wrap it up Let's get started. All right, friends, buckle up, strap in, roll up your windows, lock your doors, maybe even put on that face mask if you still have one. We're heading into Pine Bluff, Arkansas, and this is a very quiet neighborhood. It used to be a thriving, bustling neighborhood, but now it's going through its share of economic pain like everybody else. They're just getting hit first. Let's jump over to their real estate and see what's going on there. Now we'll bring up today's crash map, courtesy of our good friends over at Zillow. Everything on your screen is going through the kiss of death, price reductions. And here we go. Today's disaster has been sitting on the market for approximately 117 days. Let's look a little further. Now let's go ahead and take a quick look around. And what do we see first? You guessed it, our property's sucking air, unoccupied. This should tell us our owner should be ultra motivated as this thing is doing absolutely nothing but let's jump in to the numbers well at least our agent didn't bore us with a novel a mile long about the property all they said is great investor opportunity or for a first-time buyer well let's crunch the numbers and find out 
If we were to give them today's asking price, our approximate cost to carry would be $179 a month with a standard amount down at today's interest rate. Now let's check the property's rent range and see if it pencils out. Well, 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 what do we have here? Our property would rent for approximately $750 a month. It, in fact, pencils out. Depending on how much work it needed, it could be a great opportunity. Let's get back to the studio so we can wrap this one up. All right, friends, welcome back. So there you go. You know what's funny about this area? And I just picked a random one. You saw the crash map was insane. You could buy a lot there. I think I saw one for $700. Bucks. If you're... If you're Nervous about having a, a lot of money in the bank right now, which you should be. You could go buy properties in this town a lot for under a grand. You should have real estate in your portfolio. You can buy a house like the one we looked at today. I'm sure I could have shot, picked ones out that looked more moving ready. And your cost to carry is 100 bucks a month. We had a rent for well over 500 bucks a month. Show me where you can get that kind of return on investment anywhere right now. Real estate is the path to wealth where 90% of America or millionaires made their money. So, you know, I mean, if you're really looking to minimize risk and you don't want, and I get it, you should never invest more than you're prepared to lose. There's always risk. But you should have real estate in your portfolio. And stop looking at real estate like a FOMO factory tour home with some sales agent at the front and some cookie cutter neighborhood in the back 40 that's slammed in like sardines at areas where you can own for very cheap. This area had a college. It had infrastructure. The only challenge it had is one of our government administrations ushered in something that caused a lot of the business owners there, the manufacturers, to go overseas, and it left the city fractured. But they had a ton going for it, a university. So when you see houses that are that cheap, those are the areas that you should probably consider. Like, I want you to live in your dream home, but you should own other real estate. Affordable rentals are the path, not luxury homes, not Airbnbs, Long-term rentals, affordable rentals for middle America. There will always be a need for that. When you have rental property, you want to appeal to the widest range of renters. Biggest rental renter pool you can pull from. That's always the middle class. Affordable rentals. <sighs> Insanity. So this is what we're seeing now. So this property, the reason I just picked it is I wanted to show you if and when you're looking at properties to see if it pencils out, and then if so, test it with an offer. And that's where hopefully this channel comes in. I do my best. I like every every single referral that comes in for you guys wanting help with an agent in your area. I deal with you personally. I deal with our agent personally. I do it all. Am I perfect? No. Occasionally, one of you guys falls through the cracks. I just had somebody blast me because apparently they fell through the cracks. And boy, apologize. So sorry. What you know? I'll get right on it. Nope, wasn't good enough. They just wanted to use this opportunity to slam your buddy Scott Walters, which is fine. I took it. Took it. Yeah, no problem. I understand. Once again, I apologize. Totally understand. Whew. It's a tricky game, real estate. Not for the faint of heart, my friends. Tricky game, YouTube. Not for the faint of heart. But I continue to do my best to provide value here at this channel, and I'll continue to. In final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator. Somebody wants to see you not only win in real estate, win in life. Understanding the biggest artificially created housing bubble ever produced in world history might not sustain itself today. We looked at a city that's having a hard time and throw a dart at a map and you're hitting a city going through the same situation as Pine, Pine Bluff, I believe Arkansas is where we looked today. Insane. This is just insane for people to tell me uh, no crash risk here, Scott. I mean, my gosh, people are just on the Kool-Aid uh, booms and busts. It's going to be my job to blow the lid off this thing every step of the way because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Social media links in the description of this video if you'd like to contact me there. Along with links to channels I've appeared on, I think you might enjoy. If you need help buying or selling real estate here in America, I have the biggest network of top-rated agents in the nation ready to assist you. It'd be our honor and our privilege to do so. Email in the description for you as well. Also, if you're watching from your television set today and you enjoyed this video, I know you're going to love the next video on your screen. And there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. 
As always, thank you for your time. Please go make it count today. I'll see you on the next video.